50 Interesting Facts About Prehistoric People Our story is rooted in ancient times, when writing did not exist yet, and people only learned to survive in a harsh world full of dangers. The period before the appearance of the first written sources is called prehistory or prehistory. At this time, our distant ancestors took huge evolutionary steps. They learned to use fire, invent instruments, conquer new territories and even create art. Below are 50 curious facts about prehistoric people. Australopithecus, for example, Australopithecus afarensis, are considered one of the most ancient representatives of our evolutionary branch. They lived in Africa three to four million years ago and already walked on two legs. The most famous skeleton of Australopithecus, Afarensis, received the nickname Lucy. He is about three million years old. Found in Ethiopia in 1974, Lucy was about three feet tall. The Homo genus appeared more than two million years ago. One of the first species is Homo habilis, skillful man. He has already used the simplest stone tools. Living about 1.8 million 300,000 years ago, Homo erectus, direct man, was the first species to massively left Africa and spread through Eurasia. It is to him that the active use of fire is attributed to him. Homo habilis and other early people are closely related to the development of stone tools. The more complicated the brain became, the more diverse tools were made. Some of the most ancient stone tools, Aldean culture, date back to more than 2.5 million years. They are found in East Africa, including in the famous Olduist Gorge, Tanzania. It is believed that the ancestors of the genus Homo were adapted to a long run, tactics of exhausting hunting, which allowed them to persecute prey over long distances. The transition to a more diverse diet, meat, plant food, insects, led to the accelerated development of the brain and allowed early people to populate different regions of the Earth. Already in the early Homo, an embryonic social structure began to form. Joint hunting, dividing food and mutual assistance increased the chances of the survival of the group. Homo erectus overcame the boundaries of Africa and reached the Far East, Southeast Asia and, possibly, even Europe. This happened long before the appearance of a modern person. Homo neanderthalensis settled Europe and part of Asia about 400 to 40,000 years ago. They had a brain comparable to the brain of modern people and a strong physique adapted to a cold climate. They made advanced stone tools, Mousterian culture, knew how to use fire, possibly made simple clothes and jewelry. Certificates were found that Neanderthals buried their dead, for example, in the Shanidar cave in Iraq, sometimes sprinkling their bodies with ochre or flowers. This is a hint tea on the rudiments of rituals and, possibly, beliefs. It is highlighted on the basis of DNA from a fragment of the finger of the finger found in the Den Isis cave, Altai, Russia. They lived about the same time as Neanderthals about 200 to 50,000 years ago. In many modern people, especially from Asia and Oceania, the percentage of Denisov DNA is found in the genome. This indicates the crossing of Denisovites with the ancestors of modern people. Modern non-African populations carry 1 to 2 percent of Neanderthal DNA. So, Homo sapiens also crossed with Neanderthals when leaving Africa. Although there are very few finds, some bone and stone tools are known, indicating that the Denisovites did not lag behind Neanderthals at the development level. More recently, Neanderthals were depicted rude and nearby. But modern data show that they knew how to take care of the sick, created jewelry, had rudiments of abstract thinking. About 40,000 years ago, Neanderthals disappeared from the paleontological annals. It is believed that the main reasons could be climatic changes, competition with people of the modern type and low number. In Europe and Asia, for millennia, Homo sapiens, Neanderthals and Denisovites lived in the same territory, met and exchanged not only genes, but, possibly, cultural achievements. The earliest well-known fossils Homo sapiens date about 300,000 years, Morocco. 
For a long time it was believed that the age of the species is about 200,000 years, but the new finds pushing this border. It is believed that the mass migration of Homo sapiens from Africa began about 70 to 50,000 years ago, when people began to populate the Middle East, then Europe, Asia, Australia. People reached Australia about 50 to 65,000 years ago, and they had to overcome sea straits, having built primitive boats or rafts an impressive achievement. The ancestors of the indigenous Americans fell on the continent, according to a common hypothesis, through Beringia, land between Siberia and Alaska, about 20 to 15,000 years ago, when the sea level was low. Having settled new lands, people came across giant animals, mammoths, giant sloths, saber-toothed cats. Some researchers believe that hunting could contribute to the extinction of megafauna. In Europe, people experienced glacial periods. Archaeologists find parking lots where the bones of mammoths and rhinos were found, used not only as food, but also for the construction of dwellings, mammoth huts. The beginning of the Upper Paleolithic, approximately 45 to 40,000 years ago, is considered a key stage of the heyday of creativity. Cave paintings, figures made of bone and stone, more complex tools appear. Throughout Europe they find female figurines, the so-called Venus, created 30 to 25,000 years ago. The most famous examples, Venus Willendorf, R.A. from Bruninsk, Venus from the Hallfells, cave painting in the Suture, Affection, France, Altamira, Spain, surprises with realism in the ability to use the natural reliefs of rocks. Drawings to these ancient galleries 20 to 35,000 years. The most ancient famous flutes, from the bones of birds and mammoth tusks, were found in the caves of Germany. Their age is estimated at 40 to 42,000 years. This confirms the development of abstract thinking and culture. The controlled use of fire, cooking, heating, protection against predators is attributed to Homo erectus more than one million years ago. For the species of Homo sapiens, this was already ordinary practice. It is believed that the constant wearing of skins and primitive clothing began at least 100 to 70,000 years ago to survive in cold areas. Bone needles appear in the era of the late Paleolithic. The oldest beads, bracelets, necklaces from shells, fangs, Bones are found in layers of 70 to 100,000 years. For example, Blombo's cave in South Africa. This probably indicates symbolic communication and social statuses. The people of the Upper Paleolithic built huts of wood, bones and animal skins. One of the most impressive finds is the parking lot of Mezin, Ukraine, where large houses were discovered from the mammoth bones, about 15,000 years old. Homo sapiens also buried his dead often decorating the graves with red ochre, investing tools, and jewelry. This is a certificate of rituals or faith in the afterlife. Prehistoric people were nomads. Men were engaged in collective hunting, women and children gathered edible plants, berries, mushrooms, insect larvae. Everything changed by seasons. Archaeologists distinguish between many cultures characterized by the features of stone processing, Maustir, Ashel, or Yignac, Gravetsk, and others. Each reflects technological breakthroughs of its time. In addition to hunting, spears and bows could serve in intergroup skirmishes. Early evidence of human violence, traces of bone injuries, has been found since the time of Homo erectus and further. Gathering and hunting demanded cooperation, distribution of roles in the group, which strengthened social ties and built a hierarchy or cooperative practices, for example, joint protection against predators. There is no exact date of the appearance of articulate speech, but most scientists believe that the developed speech communication in Homo sapiens existed 10,000 years ago. The language gave a huge impetus to the development of culture. It is believed that the dog is the first domesticated animal that occurred from wolves about 20 to 40,000 years ago. The dog became both an assistant on the hunt and alarm from predators. Bone fishing hooks dating at least 20 to 25,000 years ago. Fishing has become an additional stable protein source. Even in the era of the Upper Paleolithic, 23 to 15,000 years ago, people became 
Traces of this found in the parking lot of Halo 2, Israel. About 12 to 11,000 years ago, with the end of the last ice age, people in the region of a fertile crescent, the Middle East, began to grow wild plants, which became the precedence of agriculture. The age of this cult complex in Turkey is about 12,000 years. This is a unique structure of stone pillars with carved animal images created by hunters-gatherers long before the official Neolithic beginning. Due to the stable source of food, their own cultivation of cereals and cattle breeding, people were able to settle in one place, build permanent dwellings and form large communities. It began about 10 to 9,000 years ago. This made it possible to receive not only meat, but also milk, wool, skin, increasing the chances of survival. In the Neolithic, 10 to 6,000 years ago, early Prasatatsky centers appeared. For example, Jericho, the western bank of the Jordan River, one of the most ancient settlements with a protective wall dated 9 to 8,000 years BC. E. The invention of ceramic dishes, about 10 to 9,000 years ago in different regions, facilitated the storage of water and grain, as well as cooking. The transition from the prehistoric period to the historical is usually associated with the advent of the first writing systems. The oldest written crops, 5 to 4,000 years ago, were Sumerians in Mesopotamia and ancient Egypt. This is how history began to be fixed. Prehistoric people have traveled an incredible way, from the first Australopithecus in African savanna to global resettlement, the creation of art, the first rituals and rooters of agriculture. Each archaeological find gives us a fragment of a giant mosaic, which is formed in the history of our species. These 50 facts only open the veil over how human civilization was born after millions of years of evolution and thousands of years of cultural experiments leading to the world in which we live now. Thank you for watching this video. Put your finger up and leave the comments. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel right now. And also click in the bell so as not to miss new and interesting videos from the real channel Unreal.